Hey guys, does your swing look anything like this? And we're not getting good rotation on this backside? I'm Michael Durr with Pro Speed Baseball, and today we're here in Orlando, Florida at Premier Baseball Academy, and I'm gonna show you how to properly get on that front side so we can stop, we can get off of this bad backside and start getting a lot of speed in our swing. Now I wanna tell you why this is so detrimental for bat speed. If we don't rotate on our backside, we will now cut off our hips. We can only turn so far. Now if we rotate all the way on our backside, I now have free range to rotate my hips, and that employs the big muscles in the hips that gives you a lot of bat speed in the swing. Now the second reason this is so detrimental is we can't get a proper weight shift and we can't get our energy going in the right places. If you ever watch Bryce Harper hit and he gets to contact, we know that his back foot gets up off the ground. Watch him in slow motion, his back foot is up off the ground at contact. And the reason this is, is he gets the proper weight shift to the front side and starts the kinematic sequence that works from the ground up you're now leveraging the ground for power and it works up through the leg, into the hips, into the shoulders, and then out to, to the bat to provide maximum bat speed. Now to master the weight shift, we're gonna work in progression. We're gonna start off with this first drill and we're gonna do about a good two to 300 repetitions so we can get a good feeling of what we're doing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in a nice load stride position and we're gonna come up off of our back foot when we hit the ball. So it's gonna look something like this. And we're going to make sure that that back foot comes up off the ground. The back foot comes up off the ground, it's going to, you're going to naturally allow those hips to rotate and you're going to have to have all your weight on your front side because this foot's going to be off the ground. And that's where we start learning the proper weight shift. Now the second drill we're going to do is we're going to use some sort of object that we can place behind our back foot. Here I have a plyo box. This is going to be perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up this way. We're going to have this ball right off of our front hip and we're gonna set down, we're gonna get in our stance, so we're gonna set down this box down right where our back foot would start. Okay, and then we're gonna get in our stance and we're gonna take swings, and the goal here is to not let our heel or our foot touch this box at all. So, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, and you can see that my foot actually increased away from the box. Now what we don't wanna do in this drill is we don't wanna take this T and move it way forward so, and get up against this box and cheat and get a big stride and then swing. We wanna, we wanna place that off of our front hip and if we're doing it wrong and if you have something to work with like this, you can have a really good feedback for when you do it wrong. And you can see here, if I don't rotate properly on my backside, the box is gonna fall. Now we're gonna wanna do these drills in progression. We're gonna wanna do the first drill where we get the back foot up off the ground a good two to 300 times and we're going to want to do the plyo box drill or a ball bucket, whatever you can use, a good two to three hundred times. And do these things on a tee, work through them slowly, and give yourself a chance to learn the new movements. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click on the link that's popping up in your screen right now or in the link in the description below and subscribe. Plus one us on Google, like this video, and leave your questions and comments below. Now I got another great bonus coming up for you. It's going to be a preview to one of our other videos in the Power Hitting series. If you'd like to access all of the videos, go ahead and click on the link that pops up in the preview, and you'll get full access to the full, hitting, the full, the full Power Hitting series, and we'll see you soon. We'll take our hands, and we want to bring them back in front of our body. If we were having a line right down our feet, and our feet are dead square, we can imagine a wall coming right up out of that line in front of our face, and what we want to do is keep our hands in front of that wall at all times. They should never get behind this wall at all. Some of your better hitters will stay in front or get right on this wall, but they never go behind the ball. So if you watch them from down the line, you'll see that their hands stay in front of their body the whole time, and now they're able to go from point A to point B and get as solid a contact as possible to hit home runs. So what we're going to do to work on this